Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Stay Slick. Thanks for coming back for another video. Today, I'm gonna blow your mind because I know my mind was blown when somebody told me you can get deionizer water systems at Walmart. Let me be clear what I mean by that. What I don't mean is something like this, an actual deionizer water system. All right, so they say they've got it here. And there it is. Superior Performance Micron 1. They are literally saying you can get one PPM out of this. If you can get that, that would be a miracle. What I'm used to using is these, and our water, I believe, is somewhere around 250, and I was actually getting a higher number when using this, believe it or not. So let's take this home, put it to the test. So we're gonna start off with the control. My fancy bottle here, control, straight out of the tap. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. The second one we're gonna do is we are gonna bust open this RV filter. Yeah, see all that black? So that's a carbon filter. That's got all these little pieces of carbon in there. And the difference between this one and the green one is the green one is one solid block of carbon. So they're claiming that's gonna filter this a heck of a lot more than um, than this one does here. So I'm really curious to see that because I use this in my business before I ever started using deionized water. I would literally use this to fill up my 90 gallon water tank in my trailer. So if this is, uh, if this is gonna give the results that it says, then it's a true game changer for people that don't wanna rent a tank or, or have a, uh, you know, an expense like that. They're about four to $500 for a tank, so. Okay, so we got the white filter off. Now we're busting out the green filter. It looks literally identical, right? I mean, it looks like the same exact dang thing, just green, but this one says solid block of carbon. You can kind of see that in there, that black. Interesting look. Anyways, let's go ahead and put that on. Okay, and last but not least, green. Here we go. Filled up to the brim. All right, so now we got all three cups filled up with water. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna use my TDS meter and I'm gonna show you the results so you can see what you can expect uh, if you get one of these things. So let's check it out. All right, so I got my GoPro here. I'm on the tailgate of my truck and we are gonna check out uh, all these three water samples we were just talking about. We've got the white one, right? The Walmart filter over here in the center. We have got the control, which is just basically out of your hose. And then over on the right, we've got the green, which is the one that's claiming pretty close to zero. So here we go. This is my TDS meter right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bust it open. Now what you do with the TDS meter is you can fill this up, this little cup, put it on, it'll give you a reading or you can literally just dip it in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now, zero. Right now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hit the control right here. Control, 213, 213 parts per million. That's what we're working with here in Fresno, California. I'm gonna go ahead and zero this out, turn it back on. Okay, so as you can see, zero PPM again. Now, we're gonna go over to the white, dip it into the white. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 406, 406 parts per million on the white filter. 406 on the white filter. So that's what I was talking about. I didn't know that. I was washing cars like crazy uh, using this filter, thinking that I was actually lowering the PPM. And uh, I almost doubled the PPM. So we cleared it out after using the white filter, zero. Now this is the one that I'm really excited about. This is the one I'm excited about. This is the green filter. So you're gonna see it with me. Oh, 236. 200. Actually 235, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here, uh, but uh, you know, I'm not getting the results that I was, I was told that I would get out of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it through again. I'm gonna let it run for about a minute uh, through on each one, and I'm gonna go ahead and take more samples, and we're gonna try it again. After filling up that whole five gallon bucket, 
now we've got another set of samples here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Once again, I got my GoPro here. Zero PPM, control. 212. We're back at zero again. Now we're gonna go over to the white again. So now the white is at 218. 218, right? So if we remember, the control without the filter is 209 now. So it's going up a little bit. Let me go ahead and clear it out. Now the moment of truth, the moment that everybody's been waiting for, the green water filter. Let's go ahead and check this now. Still in the red, 215. Unacceptable. All right, so obviously as an, an auto detailer who does it as business, that it's unacceptable. The closest to zero is what I need. Um, so I can't use these, there's just no way. So anyways, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, mason jar here and my GoPro, I'm gonna show you, this is my deionizer water tank. This is from Culligan. It's a big old tank. It's got an inlet that goes from the hose to the garden hose into here and here's the outlet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill up water from my deionizer tank uh, and then I'm going to show you what kind of results you can get when you have uh, a DI system. Zero PPM. This little uh, mason jar here is full of the water from my DI tank. That's what I just went ahead and fill up. And I'm going to show you. Now, keep in mind, I need to go actually replace my tank. When you get, I would say, like five and above, you should really go switch your tank. Mine's rented. So that's when I would take the tank back, pay 100 bucks, get a new tank then it'll be back to zero again. So I'm gonna be, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be at zero, but you'll see how close it is uh, when I show you right now. So let's go ahead and test this. Yep, look at that. So it is time to go switch it out. Check it out, seven. It'd be really hard to tell on a vehicle with that low of PPM. I mean, the chances of getting water spots are extremely low with that kind of number, but that's what I'm talking about when you have an actual DI tank. So hopefully that was helpful for you. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. Uh, I'm sorry, I was really excited uh, from what I had heard to check this out. And I was really hoping that when I showed you guys on this video uh, that I would be giving just incredible numbers. Now, one thing I wanna mention is it, it depends on what your, your TDS is where you live, right? So here in Fresno, it's higher than where my buddy is from. I think his was like in the hundreds. So it might have actually lowered his a little bit. The problem with these things is they don't really focus on TDS. What they focus on is things like chlorine and, and uh, minerals and you know other things like that, which is not 100% the same as the TDS that we're looking to get rid of. So it says it reduces calcium. Calcium usually is what leaves water spots, but the calcium that leaves water spots is too much for these filters to really take out. So I'm still not a believer in these things. Um, but anyways, if you want to try them out for yourself and see if it helps, I'll go ahead and put these uh, in the description. I'll link them up for you. It's up to you. If you want a clean drinking water, this will give you clean drinking water, but it's not going to give you spot free water for your, uh, for your vehicles. Anyways, quick little video to show you. I'm still not a believer in these. Sorry. If you guys find one, or somebody finds one that brings this, you know, under 10, then I'll go ahead and use it. So there you have it.